Hello there, my Satchies. Welcome back. If you've already subscribed, if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of June 2023. Please like, share, subscribe. I love reading all of your comments, so feel free to leave a positive comment down below. If you're interested in getting a private reading with me, there is a link to my website down below in the description box, as well as information about my spring store, my website, and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All right, let's see what's going on in love and relationships for the sign of Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp. Keep an open mind. It's a general reading. Might not be for every single person who watches. All right. We're going to pull an overall energy message first, see what's happening. We have a Sagittarius full moon today as I record this. Okay. You've got the golem. Close friend acts on your behalf. I apologize for the race car noises in the background. I have the windows open in my home and we do have some butt heads that like to drive I call them the little uh, the mosquito cars because their exhaust sounds like a mosquito and they're a, a muscle car wannabe <laughs> so, if, if it was if it was built after uh, 1980 it is not a muscle car I'm sorry <laughs> Give me a, uh, a 67 Chevelle SS convertible black on black with chrome trim any day. All right, let's see what's going on. Love and relationships. So you got a, you got a friend here who's you know kind of gonna intervene on your behalf. It's me that might stand up for you. Do you a solid? We'll see. Off the bottom, oh, you've got the Empress. Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Energy, Divine Feminine. You've got the Hanged Man, Pisces. Got the Three of Wands. Three of Cups. Don't threaten me with a good time. And then you've got the Ten of pentacles so i feel like somebody's been waiting for a new beginning of love and abundance standing here you know it's on its way you can see things starting to to happen here and manifest but it's like you're stuck stuck in this holding pattern maybe your mom is going to act like a, a matchmaker here fix you up with somebody so you've got this this empress here. She's the mother, the divine feminine. She knows her worth. She's, you know, all four queens of the tarot wrapped into one. This is a grown ass woman who's learned all of her life lessons. She does not have to get up and go chase any after anything. It's going to come to her. She's attracting some sort of reunion, new beginning, attracting good times, good people. Someone's going to help you out here. It could be a family member with this Ten of Pentacles here. It has to do with your long-term stability, material things, an inheritance, a legacy, a long-term committed relationship here. Um, but something, I think you're looking at everything from another perspective. And you're going to start feeling good. I feel like some of you kind of just been, you know, keeping to yourselves. But you need to get out here. And I think over the next three months, you're going to be in a much better place. I feel like you're kind of waiting for the dust to settle here. I feel like you've, you're getting some good advice from a, a close friend who really has your your best interests at heart they really care about you this mother this person could be a mother figure very loving and nurturing 
and I feel like they're giving you some really good advice here. They're, they're telling you to look at everything from another perspective. This is like, you know, glass half full energy as opposed to glass half empty. Very optimistic energy here. And right now you just need to kind of sit back and take care of yourself. You don't need to go chasing after anybody or anything. I feel like it's good, just going to come to you. You're, you're just in this very attractive, positive energy. Really lovely. Very lovely. All right, let's grab another deck. We're going to clarify the majors for you. Clarify the golem for Sagittarius. But yeah, you just need to take care of yourself first. You know, take care of you. Take care of your kids if you have kids. Okay. I think you've got some some something major to celebrate here. And I just feel like there's a lot of just long-term stability, success, you know, hanging out with your family, your friends, and just enjoying life. Clarify the golem for Sagittarius. Okay, six of wands. Yeah, you're gonna be out here socializing, getting together. Okay, maybe your friendships are needing some attention. Maybe you've been too wrapped up in your relationship and you haven't been getting out more, 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 or you need to get out more. I can't even talk. I'm sorry. Been a long day. I'm enjoying my Saturday though. Got to tell you that. But yeah, you need to get out more. Okay. Your friendships need attention. You know, somebody could be, you know, too involved in their romantic relationship kind of ignoring your friends. And a lot of people I know do that. They get they get with somebody and then their friendships suffer and take a back seat. And then they end up breaking up with that person and then wonder where the hell everybody is. Well, you know, you got to maintain your relationships. Okay, you can you can be in a committed relationship or date people but you can also have a life of your own and go out with your girlfriends or boyfriends or whatever, your family. Okay, you just need to find some balance. Okay, but you need to get out more. Somebody's just been, like I said, not. I don't know if you're, you're dealing with a possessive partner, but be really careful of that. Clarify the Empress. Judgment, yeah. Making good decisions, okay? Second chances, resurrection. Some of you may have a mother on the other side who is watching over you um, and sending messages, okay? Maybe your mom, if you're your mother, if you've lost your mother, first of all, my condolences to you. But I also feel like they're definitely watching over you and sending you positive energy. Somebody's mother is very wise and offers excellent advice. So please take that advice to heart. But you're also being... Learning to be more discerning where you put your emotional energy and who you invest in in your love and relationships. Okay, but if somebody wants forgiveness. If me, if you're estranged from your mother, I feel like there you, there's an opportunity here to mend that relationship. Clarify judgment with the Empress. Temperance, yeah. Learning to be patient. More Sagittarius energy here. You're all you're right where you're supposed to be. In your reading, you're right front and center here. But this is about balance and healing and reconciliation. We do have Archangel Michael here at the top of my reading space here. I don't know if you can see my, my statue, but very strong spiritual energy surrounding you at this time, Saggy. Really nice. Clarify temperance, judgment, the empress, the devil. 
A lot of karmic energy here too. There's a lot of temptations here. Overcoming your fear, making decisions without any attachment to the outcome. Got Saturn and Jupiter energy here. So you might want to look and see where those planets are placed in your natal chart because there's some sort of a transit going on. in your house of relationships. But let go of any fear, attachment, obsessions. Be more balanced, okay? Sometimes, you know, I believe in everything in moderation. You can you can go out and have a good time, but also take care of yourself and your kids first, your family. There needs to be balance here. I feel like there's, you know, somebody is just way too either way too rigid in the way that they operate in, in love and relationships or their beliefs or too loose, too free-spirited. There needs to be more balance here. Clarify the hanged man. You need to put something on hold and look at everything from another perspective yeah five of swords you know you gotta have boundaries and look at again where you're putting your energy i feel like you maybe somebody is giving you some really harsh straight up advice and you feel like you're being picked on and it could be you could be getting you know your mom could be just a straight shooter and maybe your parents, your mom doesn't approve of your lifestyle or the decisions you're making, even though you're a grown-ass adult. But it, it's they just want you to look at everything from another perspective here. Don't feel like everybody's picking on you. You need to be honest and, and look at yourself and look at what you're doing and how you're behaving here. Okay, and don't feel like everybody's criticizing you. I feel like somebody just, your friends or your mom only wants what's best for you. And I'm sorry, I didn't clarify all of this up here. So clarify the devil temperance. So there's some, some things happening later this year. I want to say around your birthday into Capricorn season. You could also be a Sagittarius on the cusp of Capricorn. Later this year, around your birthday, there's going to be some major change here. Some of you might actually end up getting pregnant. And you might end up having three kids. Because I feel like some of you right now have two. You might have a third coming. Because this is also celebration of a birth or a baptism. Um, Seven of Wands, yeah, standing up for yourself. Fighting any impulsive urges and really looking at everything from another perspective. Blocking out any toxic people or situations that are going to lead you astray. So I feel like you got a good thing going on right now. All right, let's grab some advice from Spirit. Can I get some advice for Sagittarius, please? Advice for Sagittarius. June 2023. Although these messages can resonate anytime you stumble upon this video. Yeah, wish. Okay, this is, somebody feels like they've missed out on an opportunity but, you know, you can always make another wish. If things didn't turn out the way you expected or had hoped, you get to have more than one wish. Let's get some love messages. Love messages, please, for Sagittarius. Love 
love messages for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Closed gate. Every All the fire signs. I'm sorry, I bumped my tripod here. All of the um, fire signs have been getting this. There's some sort of, like sense of finality like once you've made your decision that's it you're not going back there's no going back so choose wisely think carefully but there's also an element of fate and destiny at play here and then you have freedom love can only flourish and grow and freedom creates space to receive more so some of you are torn between commitment and wanting your freedom wanting to stay single you know, just staying open and not letting anyone control you, you know, not being so restrictive. Self-love. Self-love is the cornerstone of sharing true love. Cherish you. Be in your empress energy. Love yourself first. Don't allow people to clip your wings. We've got a lot of winged creatures here. I feel like somebody's trying to restrain you, hold you back from being. There's someone's trying to hold you back and restrict you from reaching your full potential here. Someone's trying to lock you down. If you're if you're recently divorced, you need to be single for a while. Don't go rushing or jumping into another relationship. Because you're afraid of being alone or afraid that you can't support yourself financially. Make sure if you enter into a relationship, it's for the right reasons. Love yourself first. Take care of yourself. Don't let yourself go and don't let other people try to clip your wings and put you in a cage. Nobody puts baby in the corner. And then you've got soul family, this love connection. This love is connected to your past soul life. So there's some sort of karmic past life soulmate connection here that either wants to come in or that you're involved in right now. And soul contracts can be with not only romantic partners, but with friends, family, co-workers, your, your pets. But all is connected. So, Saggies, that's what I have for you at this time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Again, I am available for private readings. The link to my website is down below. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye.